podcast, Jake here, and today we're going to be checking out just 20 iOS 13 jailbreak tweaks. Okay guys, so the first tweak is called Airport. So what Airport does is it lets you change the animation or the color of your AirPods when it does pop up. So if I do open my AirPods, and you see it, they do show up here. Right now they're in white, but then if I do open them again, now they are black. So what this does is you can change the color uh, to any color or black, or you can also install custom animations as well. So I will show you a custom animation. Okay, so as you can see, if I do open my AirPods and now, it is uh, a Jewel. So this is a Jewel Pods uh, custom animation that you can install. And there are also other ones as well that you can install. But my personal favorite is the black AirPods. The next week is called Adblock Plus Plus. So what this does is it blocks the ads if you are in uh, YouTube, uh, if you do have the Circube tweak installed, or if you do have WhatsApp Plus Plus installed, or any of the other ones like Instagram Plus Plus, it'll make it so that there are no ads when you do open your phone. The next week is called App Store Plus Plus. So what this does is if you do go into the App Store, and you type in an app, so I'll type in Spotify. As you can see here, if I do tap on it, and I hold down on here where it would say open, and instead it says update, you can see it does come up with these options, so you can block any updates. You can do a manual install, or you can upgrade or downgrade. So then this will pop up, and you can scroll down to uh, not any version but most of the versions so like ones that are still supported is like version 4 so if I tap on that and you wait a couple of seconds it will start installing version 4 of Spotify okay so as you can see it is now installing right here and then so we can head over to the home screen and open up Spotify and so as you can see now when you are in here this is the old spotify version and if you guys have not make sure to follow jake brown's youtube intros playlist which will be down in the description so this is app store plus plus okay guys so the next tweak is called cash clear so what this does is if you hop into settings and you go into general and iphone storage if you scroll down till you get to an app, so let's just use Instagram here, you will see it does add uh, these two options here. So you can either reset the app, so this would like sign me out of Instagram, or you can uh, clear the app's cache. So this is cache clear. The next tweak is called Dawn. So as you can see here, what this lets you do is you can customize your banners and notifications, dock widgets, notification center buttons, folders, lock screen, media player, home screen, quick actions, app and applications. You can customize whether you want some to be in dark mode and some to be in light mode, or you can also select the default option as well, so it'll change with the system. But this just lets you have a little bit more customizability when changing into light and dark mode so once again this is called a dawn the next week is called dodo plus so as you can see here uh, all of my notifications are these little dots in the top right uh, which is pretty cool and if you do hop into the settings pane for it you can choose either the filled circle or the non-filled circle as well and you can customize the different colors or you can have it adapt to the icons color as well and you can also change the opacity and choose whether to use a pastel colors or not to use pastel colors so once again this is called dodo plus the next week is called dnd my recording so this is do not disturb my recording so what this does is as soon as you do turn on a screen recording so if we start a screen recording here uh, what it does is, as you can see, it turns on Do Not Disturb automatically. So that way, if you are recording something and you don't want any uh, notifications coming up, it will automatically turn on Do Not Disturb in case you do forget. So once again, this is called DND My Recording. Okay, so the next tweak is called Folded. So as you can see here, what this does is it lets you customize your folders. So you can customize the layout, the frame, the icon, the appearance, 
the title and other and you can also set your own presets and it also does have some installed as well so if we had over to layout you can customize uh, any of this stuff the frame uh, as well uh, if you want it centered or not the icon you can do a custom folder grid uh, the color uh, and you can have a colored background uh, the appearance uh, in the title here you can uh, do the font if you want it in bold you can center it have it on the right and here are some other ones as well so once again this is called folded okay guys so the next tweak is called freefall so what this does is if you do uh, accidentally drop your phone uh, so I'll do this here if I drop the phone you will notice that it does scream I don't know I can try to make this a little bit louder if I hop in the settings so as you can see uh, if I do drop it again it screams uh, if your phone does fall and then once it hits the surface then it does stop screaming so once again uh, this is called free fall and I do think uh, this is a pretty fun tweak if you do uh, want to mess with some of your friends if you drop your phone and your phone just starts screaming Okay guys, so the next tweak is called Gestures i11. So what this does is it adds an iPhone 10 Gesture UI to any iPhone that does have a home button. So as you can see, if I do hop into settings, um, it does give you all of these options. So the status bar style, you can either have it like the iPhone 10 or you can leave it as default. I think it looks better with the default one. You can change like if your battery does have the battery percentage, you can change if you do pull down from the top right it, that it will open the control center. You can add the home bar, the lock screen shortcuts, and there's also some other options here as well. So I'll show you the lock screen shortcuts right now. So as you can see here, I do have my flashlight, which does work. And I also do have my camera, which does work as well. So back in settings, as you can see here, it does give you all of these options as well. So this stuff for the keyboard, this is the rounded screen corners, uh, the rounded dock and app switcher, as well as the bottom inset. So overall, this is a pretty cool tweak, and it's called Gestures I11. The next tweak is more of an app, but uh, it's called Installer 5. And so this is an alternative to Cydia, and I, I personally think that it's great uh, because Cydia is a little... Uh, crazy with all the sources and it uh, freezes up a lot and this just has a overall nicer interface so as you can see here tasks in progress if we do tap on that this is it refreshing all of the sources and I know in Cydia it just keeps refreshing them over and over again so it's very difficult to use if you do have a lot of sources like I do so this is just an overall uh, better tweak installer so if we close out of this when you do a search for tweaks let's tap on this one it just adds it to the queue automatically whereas in Cydia you have to press the continue it in queue button and if you accidentally press cancel it clears your queue whereas this if you do uh, tap on it it will say queued so if I do swipe over on this tweak right here you will see that it does add it to the queue and if we go in here this is the queue and then you can just swipe over to delete them as well so once again this is called installer 5 so the next tweak is called Notif Bounce. So as you can see here, I do have a notification for mail. So it is bouncing up and down, and this will do this for any of your apps. Uh, so this is this will let you know if you do have a notification. Instead of the annoying uh, little red banner in the top right corner, this will bounce up and down. So this is called Notif Bounce. So the next tweak is called Pokebox. So what this does is it customizes your notification banners into a Pokemon style type notification banner. And so this also does change whether you are in light mode or dark mode. And so I do think this is a pretty cool tweak. So that once again, this is called Pokebox. The next tweak is called Quit All. So as you can see here, if I am the multitasker, you will see in the top right, there's a little button that does say Clear. So what this does is if I do tap on it, it will clear all of my apps out. So as you can see, if I do try to hop back into the multitasker, it will not open because I do not have any apps open. So this is Quit All. 
the next tweak, which has been recently updated, is called Reprovision. So as you can see, if I do head over to the Reprovision app, what this does is, uh, after you do sign in, it signs uh, different apps that you can download. So if I wanted to download and keep signing the Uncover app, I can do that with this or any other IPA files if you do want to install a custom IPA and you do not have your computer. So I'll sign in and I'll show you what the interface does look like. Okay, so once you do sign in, it will say finish successfully. So when you're done, you just want to press on the done button. And so this is the interface here. So if you did have any apps here, you can press the sign button. So if I go and I'll download the Uncover IPA. So if you do download any IPA files, you can just tap on them. And then if you do tap on the top right here, you will see it does say copy to reprovision. And so what this does is it will install the app. So if I do press on install, it will install it. And so as you can see, it is installed now. And so you can sign apps that are running out and you can also install custom apps that you wouldn't normally be able to install. So once again, this is called Reprovision. The next tweak is called Rofi. So as you can see, uh, if you have noticed on the top right, you will see there's this little bar. So if I do swipe over, you will see that I do have some apps here. So I do have like Cydia hidden right here and then I can also swipe over when I am in within apps and so let's head over to settings and head into the preference pane of this so as you can see here you can click on select applications and you can select any applications that you do want and then you can also customize how many apps per page you do want as well as the color so I like this color because it kind of blends in and you can also change the slider height, width, and visibility. Also the timeout settings. So if I do swipe over, it will time out after 15 seconds. And when you are done customizing, you do have to respring. But this is called Rofi. Okay, so the next tweak is called Smart Battery. So as you can see, we are in the preference pane right now, and you will see that it does give you a bunch of different options when dealing with your battery. So as you can see, it does say like enable low power mode, and you can adjust the slider to your preferred percentage when the battery reaches that level. Uh, and then it will automatically be activated. So Apple does it at like 20%, it'll notify you but this makes it so you can change it to any percentage. Then you can also create your own time interval to enable it. You can customize your battery in the status bar as well. So right now I do have it to blue, green, and black. And then you can also do it with charging features as well. That's another option. So you can do low power mode notification when charging, and there's all of these other options as well. You can also boost the battery, put it on smart Wi-Fi, um, and there's a bunch of other different ones as well as uh, custom low power mode. You can customize what does get disabled, the brightness, the volume, all of that, and there's just a bunch of different options. So I really do like this tweak, and it's called Smart Battery. The next tweak is called Social Downloader. So what this does is if you do have uh, apps installed, so we do have YouTube and Instagram. So if we head over to YouTube and we'll head over to my channel. So now that we're at my channel, uh, if we do select on one of my videos, you will see if we do pause it and we hold down on the video, you will see that Social Downloader will ask you what quality you want to download it in. So let's just do it at 144p because this will take the least amount of time to download. Because um, if you were to do it in 1080p, that would take a lot longer. But it is really cool. So this will then save it to your camera roll. Um, and you can also do this on Instagram with different pictures and videos as well. So once again, this is called Social Downloader. Okay, so the next tweak is called Vardaman. The source that I did get it from is in Russian, so I do use Google Translate to translate it. That way I do know what is going on with it. So I'll hop into Google Translate. What this tweak does is it changes your wallpaper depending on the time of day. So if I do do the translation. So uh, the top one is morning uh, shift, then the day shift as well, and then there is also the evening shift as well as uh, a night shift one, 
and if we do scroll down even more there are some more options as well so you can have it randomly change your wallpaper when unlocking and locking and when inside of here uh, you can change the different options so you can like select the wallpaper source at the top um, so audit so right now I have it set to automatically but you can also change it to any of these and you can name them as well and you can choose different times so right now this is my wallpaper if I do head over to the settings and I do turn on uh, these options which is unlocking uh, and locking and this is a random one so if I press on respring uh, you will see that my wallpaper does change if I go into my phone and then lock it. You will see that it is now a different wallpaper and then I can do the same thing again. Now it's a different wallpaper. This one's pretty cool. So once again, this is called Vardaman. Okay guys, so the next tweak is called Yobun Pro. So as you can see here, if I do swipe up with two fingers, it does bring up all of these options. So you can do a fast respring, a regular respring, you can do an LD restart, and you can also enter safe mode as well as clear the cache. You can also turn off Wi-Fi, location services, and Bluetooth, and you can get your CPU RAM info as well. And once this is done loading, you can also free up some RAM, which is pretty cool. And so this is Yobun Pro. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.